that love him. For the good of them who are called according to his purpose. Our address, physical services, 1069th row, King in Johannesburg. My number is plus 27824569264. You shall surely be blessed. May God bless you, and I look forward to receiving you. Amen. Praise God. Good evening, everyone. I welcome you tonight to another edition of Shekinah Online Pulpit. This is from Shekinah Institute, the Institute for Leadership, Entrepreneurial Training, and Personal Development Teachings. And tonight, I've come to you to continue on the, the topic that I began some few weeks back, which is on consistency. And um, this is a time that we need to have some factors that could help us to, to build forward, embracing certain habits that will help us to move forward and help us in our growth plans and towards success. Now, today we're going to look at another segment, another rule of the rules of consistency. And as you know, that consistency requires the uniformity of all parts that makes the whole. Uh, the quality of being stable, that is what consistency is. And, you know, it's the way and the thirst uh, by which we have to endure at the time of our business, at the time of our ministry, at the time of, of life or whatsoever we hold ourselves to do. So we're talking about consistency, which is your ability to stay the course of every venture, to stay the course of either ministry or certain venture that you may have started. And so today I will look at this consistency that it's a rule of life for success. Now, consistency is also the, the metrics of your calling the metrics by which, you know, the world judges you and look at how you hold on to what you claim to be doing or who you are. And so you need to stay the course of your vision, the course of your dream, the course of the purpose which you have discovered. And that is... The, the rules I want to discover, I mean, to discuss tonight, and I'm saying the rules of consistency. My name is Abe Adenigba. I'm the director of Shekinah Institute right here in South Africa. Now, in the context of this talk tonight, we have to look at how the rule of consistency we had value to our life, value to our social competence, our business relationship. So understanding this rule will help you to achieve a stable lifestyle. It will help you to achieve a stable business relationship to without much of a variance of a higher degree. And so it's, a, it's an habit that you need to conduct the habit by which you need to, you know, embrace in your activity, your life, even in your marriage, you need to be consistent with love and responsibility. Now, one of the first rules I want to mention tonight is that you maintain your good reputation. You maintain your good reputation. We know reputation is the assessment of you by the outside world. Your reputation is the honor that is bestowed on you. And so this needs to be managed and you need to maintain it. So as a rule of consistency, to maintain the reputation you that you have earned in the, in the society or within the industry that you have been known, your professional industry, without contradiction, this needs to be maintained for a consistency reference of good repute. So this reputation becomes, you know, your quality of being a reliable person.
person, a reliable leader. That's what it does for you. And so a good reputation is key to be maintained so that you can have a consistent character, a consistent reputation or report. This will bring you to what I referred to, that as you maintain good reputation, it brings you to a conscious character on a daily basis. And this is what will sustain the reputation that you have built over the years. This is what will earn you a highest regard which money cannot give. Not even popularity gives it to you. But your reputation, your, your, your maintaining your reputation helps you and it gives you that consistency. And it's one of the rules of consistency. But you must be conscious of it. Now, there's a proverb that says, a good name, and by honorable behavior, godly wisdom, moral courage, and personal integrity is more desirable than great riches. And favor is better than silver and gold. I, I'm taking this from Proverbs 22 verse 1 from the Amplified Version. And that explains it all. That when you maintain a good reputation without variance. Last week I mentioned that at times there are mistakes which are human. But then we're talking about good reputation that you guide against what you have built over the years. And that is what gives you this consistency. It's one of the rules of consistency that you maintain a good reputation. Therefore, you should keep reputation as a rule of consistency. It's the same when we talk about integrity. Because it may be what you will fall back on later in your life, in your professional life, in your political life. This is what you may fall back on. That's why the Proverbs that I referred you to says a good name and by honorable behavior, godly wisdom, moral courage, and personal integrity is more desirable than great riches. And that is what he's saying there. So you need to keep this as a rule for yourself to be consistent with all men within your industry that you have built so much. So again, whichever is your space, whichever is your space, whichever is your field, you must be able to have a stable character to maintain your reputation, irrespective of difficult terrains, difficult period, you know, because sometimes you see people vary in the character. They vary in their attitude because they subject themselves to uh, a prevailing difficulties, issues of life. Again, there is a word in the scripture that I want to also put to that, which is Romans, uh, Romans 8, verse 35, which says, What shall separate us? What shall separate us from the love of Christ? Because is it, is it, is it hunger? Is it nakedness? Is it persecution? And this is telling us that, you know, if you are in Christ, if you are a person of faith, your reputation as a person of faith must be maintained. And that's why I'm using that scripture to explain this. It says that no matter what, because if you do not guard your character, if you are not stable, you may subject yourself to a prevailing difficult period, temptation, tribulation. And so such thing must not separate you from maintaining your reputation. Of course, with the grace of God, with the grace of God, you can maintain your reputation. Number two tonight on the rules of consistency. I don't know, I, I, I just want to bring this to light is that one of the rules of consistency that I have also, you know, uh, observed that I've practiced is to be realistic to be realistic. 
And I want to, to listen carefully here that this is a rule that I have adopted in order to maintain consistency. So you must be realistic. This is a rule that will earn you that power of consistency. That means, for example, being realistic with your resources. It means you are always contented with your resources, with your material, and by which you leverage on it to the highest, best possible. You must be realistic. It's one of the rules that I've adopted for the power of consistency. In this case, to be realistic is accepting, for example, your weakness as much as your strength. Is to accept your weakness as much as your strength, but you always thrive on your strength. You always thrive on your strength and promote your ability instead of covering your weakness. You promote your strength. You promote your, your ability. You know, you don't need to adopt some temporary measures to cover weakness. Rather, thrive on your strength. Thrive, promote your ability. Be consistent with what you do best. And that's how you can be realistic. And I mentioned earlier, even you have to be realistic with your resources. I'm going to explain that. Because we are saying now that, look, you need to thrive with your strength instead of you adopting measures that are just temporary. Instead of you seeking personalities for affirmation. You will, you know, you will not be you will not have a logical consistency or consistent character when you rely on affirmation and the implication is what i'm going to show you tonight understand that affirmation is asking for validation asking for testimony before you can fully express yourself however there is nothing wrong to get affirmation. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You must be able to prove your original self. You must be satisfied with yourself, with your gift, with your talent. You must be satisfied with your gift and your talent at the end of the day. And that will prove your originality. So, to be realistic is a way for you to have that power of consistency. It's a rule of consistency. You need to be realistic. Again, you have to have that you know, uh, realistic presentation of yourself. Because if you are not realistic, you will always bring about other people's ideas. You will always copy other people to function, and that is the implication. And then you are this character today, you are another character tomorrow. So to be realistic is advised to maintain and pass the consistency test. And if you are not, you will often adopt measures that are incongruously Measures that is illogical, especially to your overall level. That's the, the implication. For, for instance, if you are not realistic, you will copy everything that is trending. If you are not realistic with your gift, you want to speak like someone, maybe someone who is famous, and eventually you will become you become, you know, a counterfeit of your natural self. And that is why I'm talking about the rule of consistency, which demands that you are realistic, number one, with your resources, number two, with your gift, your natural gift, 
and the way that you are. Another point is this. If you are not realistic with your resources, you will always make a window dressing by overborrowing to make a short-term impression. And this is very common, that we employ a whole lot of things in order to present ourselves at different levels. And we find out that when those things that we have used to present ourselves is no longer available, then we, we downscale, we appear differently, we are not incongruent with our gift, with our personality, and that is why I'm saying that with the rules of consistency, to enjoy the power of consistency, to reap the benefit of consistency, is for you to be realistic. To be realistic with what you have. To be realistic with, what, with, with the resources that you have. So, and when you obey this process, you find that, you know, you maintain much of your originality when you are realistic with your materials, when you are realistic with what you have in possession, and realistic with the way God has made you. You are pleased with yourself. You are not pleasing anyone. You are pleased with your originality, and people will embrace you as you are. And that is possible when you are consistent. So, it's so important for you to understand that to be realistic is for you to leverage on yourself, is to accept yourself the way you are and let your personality reflect who you are and let your gift also reflect your personality. And you will be accepted. You will grow organically you are not going to be a copy of someone else because you have consistently worked on yourself, practice what you have with what you have. Then you find out that at the end of the day, it becomes less stressful for you to present yourself, to make presentations. It becomes more stress, stressless for you to appear the way you are. So consistency is so important to understand that it's, it, it, it helps you to be your natural self. It helps you to be your natural self when you are realistic. So many people that are not realistic with their resources to you know, present themselves and they end up being overburdened. So consequently, they also lose their originality. They lose their integrity because some of these facilities, when they cease to be available, going forward, it becomes that you are no longer the way you started it. There is such a downscale, there is such a change in the level by which you, you make presentation or you do certain things. More or less, you become indebted and you are unable to sustain your venture. You are unable to sustain your venture when you are not realistic. You are unable to repeat certain programs. You may not even complete the project. And so that's why to be, to be consistent, what I'm saying, one of the rules of it is for you to be realistic. And you will grow organically. You grow organically. You will flow. Look at what the word of the Lord says in Luke chapter 14, verse 28. It says, For which one of you, when he wants to build a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if he has enough? And that is teaching about being to be realistic, really. That's what he's teaching. And the rule of this consistency is that you must be realistic so that you don't get stuck along the line. You must be realistic. You must be realistic so that 
you can leverage on the available resources to really, you know, uh, prove who you are, do what you have been asked to do, fulfill your vision, and grow organically and progressively. And that requires that you do it consistently every day. You touch on every area that you are good. You, you use your resources maximally. And you will not be stopped. So, therefore, the rule of consistency uh, demands you should be realistic to be authentic. Demands that you should be realistic to be authentic. Because if you are not realistic, you will not be authentic. You will not be authentic. There will be no progressive consistency if you are not realistic. So, if you are a realistic person on what you have, you will see that you will grow what you are doing without stress. You will grow your venture without stress. Your business, your enterprise will grow without stress. Your ministry will grow without stress. You will not be indebted. You need to be realistic. And from this, you will achieve uh, your truest self and naturally serve with your strength. That, that's what, when, when you are realistic, when you, you, you present yourself as it is, you find that you are able to serve with your natural self. That, that is one of the good part of this. And as you serve with your natural self, along the line, over the time, consistently, having embraced, you know, that realistic uh, sense and you are doing things consistently, you find out that you build up on your gift. You build up on your gift. You build up on your strength. And you naturally flow in certain things that, you know, you have been given as a gift. This is the, 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 the good part of, of this rule of consistency, that you are realistic with what you have. You are realistic. You embrace your personal self. You do not have to window dress. You do not have to overburden, for example. You don't have to over, overburden uh, uh, your, your, maybe your business, your ministry with debts. You do not need to overburden your family because you, you want to make sudden impression. But as you make use of what you have and you are consistent with it, you will actually, you know, save. You will save on resources. You will, res you will conserve resources. And that is what being realistic is. And that is one of the rules of consistency. Because consistency is a, is a matrix by which the world judges. So the rule of consistency demands that you should be realistic and then you build up every day. For example, you have the ability to practice realistically with what you have. And that practice goes a long way. It becomes part of you. It becomes your habit, your habit for growth your habit for, you know, your success. That is what it is. So within time, you find out that your productivity, your presentation, your talk becomes, you know, naturally. It becomes natural. It becomes natural. So, and people will observe the consistency patterns of your speech, your body language, are in harmony, and that is what consistency can give you. But you need to be realistic in order to achieve that consistency. It's a power on its own for stability. Consistency is a power on its own that gives you proficiency, that gives you that you know uh, um, confidence. That's what consistency is. But you need to practice it. And one of the rules is what I'm making emphasis tonight. So, as um, we have spoken on two points tonight, the, on the rules of consistency, that we need to maintain our reputation. And reputation is one of those things that helps you to build 
you know, on consistency. And again, we have to be realistic. We have to be realistic. And that also helps us to be consistent. Consistent in our, in, for example, in our style, consistent with our natural gift. We do not need to borrow. We do not need to copy any other person. We become the original of our gift. We become the original of our talent. We become the original of our ministry. And that's how being realistic you do not need to go and borrow someone's style in order to present your own gift. No, it's your gift is a natural gift. You need to be realistic with it. You need to accept yourself and therefore you become your original self. You are no longer a counterfeit of your original self. No, because you have been practicing it. And as the more you practice it, the more you gain on the power of consistency. That is what I want to achieve. That's what I want to achieve today, that we need to embrace these, you know, rules in order for us to, you know, uh, to be proficient and uh, have a consistent uh, lifestyle. Consistent character is where we also, you know, started it from. With consistent character. Last week, I, I, I mentioned about that a lot, about consistent character. But again, Understanding that maintaining good reputation brings you to the consciousness of a good character, and that helps you to build on this consistency. And um, and that's what I, I want to um, share with you tonight on this um, evening. And I pray that you know you receive the grace to find these two points tonight to embrace it and then you find yourself you know being consistent in what you do you know because sometimes um the people drop along the line they drop off their dream they drop off the ideas they have started working on they for different reasons like i have referred you to romans chapter 8 verse 35 which says you know what could you know, take us away from the love of Christ. What could take us away from the love of Christ? Is it nakedness? Is it persecution? So when you understand the rule of consistency, it will help you to stay the course of your enterprise, your business. You don't need to drop it halfway. Because again, maybe you are knocking at certain doors they want to see more of you. They want to see what you're doing. Some people are watching you before they can commit any project into your hand or commit certain capital into your hand. They, they are watching you. And that is why you need to understand the rules of consistency. It's a character you need to build into your, your, your pursuit of success, you know, because consistency is, is like I said earlier also that it's a matrix by which you are judged. Are you serious with your calling? Are you serious with your calling? Are you serious with that business idea you brought? You brought a proposal today on one idea. You did not stay the course of building on that idea on every day. Then you come up with another idea again and say, no, I think this one is going to work. No, you are playing you are, you are gambling, that's what it means. And you don't gamble with your dream. You don't gamble with your purpose. When you find a purpose, you need to be consistent with that purpose. You don't gamble. There's no gambling with the calling. There's no gambling. Because the one that even gave it to you naturally says the gift and calling of God. He said they are without repentance. So as an individual, I'm just sharing this rule of consistency with you that it's going to help you to, to stay the course of time because that's what consistency demands. It's, a, it's to stay the course of time, to, be, to, to have stability, to be stable in what you are doing irrespective of the season, irrespective of the challenges that may, may, may come over you. You know, you don't need to drop it halfway. And as you learn the rules of consistency, 
you will stay the course and then you will get onto the profit curve of your season. A profit curve when now your consistency in one area of career has been proven or your consistency in your calling of ministry has been established, your consistency in the area of your business, your establishment, or your, your, your career, that, that, that's, that is a goodwill. That's what we also describe as a goodwill. And you can only really get a goodwill in consistency. And so you find out that um, your reputation will go far. You find out that um, the, 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 the way they, they receive you, you know, it comes with uh, uh, some honor. And so this is what you need to have. This is what you need to have. This is a topic for your personal development. I know you have all the degrees. I know you have all the degrees. I know you have, you're qualified. But when you understand the rule of consistency, it's, it's a matrix by which your industry will use to see how committed are you in that industry. Before I go, I, I've, I've also seen that in, in corporate world, when you jump from one company to another, one company to another, your one industry to another, they will find out that you do not have a consistency. You do not have a consistency. So, and so consistency helps you to build your career within an industry. You need to be consistent. Thank you so much. I do not want to take this further, but I believe that the few that I've spoken tonight, we resonate with you, and particularly, I don't know your state of mind. I don't know what your condition is right now, but I just use this word to encourage someone and to teach someone about life development and how we can you know, grow organically in all that we do and we become the original of ourselves. And that is what consistency we give you. And, you know, there will be no stress. You are realistic. You maintain your good reputation. And success will flow. Your name will open doors for you. That's what consistency can give you. And I want to put it here tonight. And I want to thank you for listening to me. This has been Abi Adenigba from Shekinah Institute right here in Johannesburg. Next week, I'm going to announce our leadership and ministerial course that is coming up in the month of August. And I desire that you be part of it. God will really bless you. And certainly it will add value to your life. May God bless you. Thank you so much. And um, I believe we'll meet again next week. And um, be consistent. And you surely be successful in all that you do. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. And I'll see you again. For God works all things for the good of them that love him. For the good of them who are called according to his purpose. Our address physical services 106 9th Road King in Johannesburg. My number is plus 27824569264. We shall surely be blessed. May God bless you and I look forward to receiving you. Amen.